Hi everyone, my name is Miss Stephanie and I am a library specialist at the Tower Road branch of the Alachua County Library District. Um, I'm sure you guys are really missing school and being at the library, so we're bringing some programming home to you. And one of my favorite things about school used to be show and tell. So I thought that we would do show and tell so that you can learn a little bit about me. And if you guys participate through social media, I can learn a little about you too. So my first uh, show and tell this week is going to be uh, the butterflies that I have mounted. Uh, let's see, I did some research on these. This one is a Madagascan sunset moth. So not a butterfly, but it, it's pretty and it looks like one. Uh, this one is a purple spotted swallowtail. And I'm not sure about this one. Um, this box isn't labeled and I had a hard time finding information online. Uh, it's really cool be that it's clear because you can take a look and see what the other side of their wings look like. Uh, because usually uh, the reverse side of their wings, uh, the side that you see when it's folded up, uh, is different. Um, I have another butterfly over here too. Uh, this one is a blue morpho, and again, it's clear so that we can see the other side of its wings. And it's very different. Uh, the other side is blue and iridescent and really pretty. And this side is brown and it has these things, let's see, these things called eye spots. Sorry, there's a glare from my computer there. Try to minimize that. Uh, these eye spots um, help protect the butterfly from predators uh, because birds will uh, try to eat the butterflies. So this helps them camouflage and keeps them safe. Uh, and oh, I have one more. <laughs> this isn't a butterfly. Uh, this is actually a type of purple winged grasshopper. The reason I like all these things and I collect them uh, are, there's a couple reasons. Uh, the first one is that my grandfather was an entomologist. That's a really big word. Do you know what it means? Um, it means someone who studies bugs or insects. So bugs, insects, butterflies, things like that. Um, and it's really cool because in the age of technology that we live in, I can go online and look up my grandfather uh, look up his name and the word entomologist and I can find papers that he wrote back in the 1950s and I can read them. They're a little technical and maybe a little bit boring, but it's still cool that I have the ability to do that. Um, the other reason that I have these uh, is because it reminds me of my favorite place in town. Have you guys been to the Butterfly Rainforest um, at the Natural History Museum? I love going there. It's so peaceful and to have all the butterflies fluttering around. And I like to take pictures there too. I don't have a fancy camera or anything like that. I just use my iPhone. Um, but I like the pictures that I take and I think they're good. And uh, actually, I'll show you a couple of them right now. What did you think? I think they're pretty. Um, but it's a place that I like to go that's calming and it's kind of nice to be able to look at the butterflies and think about that place, especially since I can't go there right now. So my challenge to you is to show me something that reminds you of your favorite place. Now that favorite place can be your grandma's house, it can be the ice cream shop, it can be the butterfly rainforest, and it doesn't have to be anything that you got there. You know, if you have, if you just want to show me a bowl of ice cream and tell me about your favorite ice cream shop, you can do that. Um, so uh, you can do this a few ways. Um, if you find us on Instagram, we are at Alachua Library. And so you can uh, show your pictures and tag us that way. Uh, on Facebook, we are Alachua County Library District. So you can also tag us on there, or if you saw this post on Facebook, then you can just respond in the comments with your picture and tell us a little bit about it. Uh, and if you want even more information, uh, we have lovely resources online. I know Overdrive has um, Fly Guy Presents on insects. We have a Wild Kratz book on um, insects. We have the Insectopedia on there, uh, th which are all available for you to check out uh, so you can learn more if you'd like. Um, and then if you want even 
more information than that, uh, there are several websites that you can go to. If you go to our e-sources, uh, there's Kids Info Bits, which has articles on all sorts of different topics. Uh, when you first get to the main page, it has a bunch of different pictures. So if you click on animals and then bugs and worms, then it gives you a list of different um, bugs or worms or butterflies uh, that you can read about. Or if you already know what kind of bug you'd like to read about, you can just do a search. And the great thing is that it color codes uh, green, yellow, red, as far as what the reading level is. Uh, there are also websites that show you uh, the songs of insects. And again, if you're seeing this on uh, you know, Facebook or Instagram, some sort of social media, if you uh, go to our blog on our website, aclib.us, uh, then there will also be links to some of these things. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys show me the things that remind you of your favorite place. Uh, and I'll have another program soon. So. Bye, see you later.